Hi all, hope you're doing good. So today we're going to discuss about a very very interesting thing and a powerful thing which is memory power and, and I'm talking about a book called Becoming a Learning Machine. So after this discussion you will become a learning machine, right? So for that you just need to go back and learn, learn you know, read that book also. So this book is by, by Dr. German uh, Gracia Fesco. He is a PhD holder and a memory coach, right? So in this book he talks about mind mapping, uh, memory power, interlinking, chunking techniques, right? So uh, before starting here, the author mentioned some facts. So we'll discuss those facts, right? So, uh, you know, during our school life, uh, once we complete our schooling, we come out of the school, right? And in a span of 30 days, we forget everything, right? So uh, the cramming and, you know, mugging up things will last for a shorter period of time. Now, the problem here is that what to do now? If we want to recall something for a longer period, longer duration, there are some priority things, there are some business discussions or there are some which which important things which which are required to be recalled, right? Or, or in our routine task or our daily activities, we need to remember something which 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 actually have importance, right? So for that, there, there are various techniques which have been mentioned by author. So uh, and and there are the, some facts, important facts. Uh, you know, one of the fact is that. It takes about 10,000 hours to become an expert. So if we see in today's social medias or internet, you know, people try to claim that they become expert for something. Let's say somebody mentioned uh, on an ad that I'm a Facebook expert. You come to me and I'll give you a solution, right? You come to my webinar or something like that, right? So so it, it takes 10,000 continuous, uh, you know, practice and working to become an expert. And the other thing the author talks about is that if you want to become a proficient, uh, you know not expert if you want to become proficient in something then it takes a 20 hours of dedicated efforts right so it's not that you you genetically good in memory then only you'll you'll be you know you'll be able to recall things it's 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 your hard work and the practice on that you that will make your memory good right so uh talking about how to learn things so for a new topic, if, if 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 you pick up a new topic and you start, you know, reading or learning that, so how to go about that? Uh, one step is that you you pick up one topic, you start learning about that, and stop, right? And then on day two, you learn something more about that, right? And then then leave it for that or one week time, right? So and after one week, you just try to recall the, those things, right? Whatever you learn, and then. Uh, you, you further learn on that right and and after one week just give a pause for about 15 days more right so it will be a complete one month you whatever you learned you'll be able to remember it in a more better way right so this this technique is, is a space technique uh, so this, this will help you to actually memorize things for for a more longer span longer period right so other than that, uh, there, are, there are some mnemonics techniques. For that, I will just show my screen. So uh, here we're going to talk about something which is a long list which you remember for um, for a longer period, right? Let's say we talk about a gross, grossy item which, which you want to recall it, right? Let's say uh, milk, toilet paper, apple, bread, light bulb, eggs, detergent, right? So now uh, if you can see adjacent to that, I mentioned the name of the animals, right? and bear, cat, dog, elephant, fox, goat. So I've taken up animals. You can you can go for any other thing, counting, which, which actually, you know, um, easy to you and you are able to manage it well, right? So uh, now what you need to do is you need to create some kind of a small stories uh, along with this. Those stories may not be very, very relevant or, or you know, so I'll, I'll just take a few examples like uh, milk spill over on on the tabletop and aunts just came to take that milk, right? So uh, a cat came and spilled all the apples on in the bucket, right? So um, uh, let's say we we have eggs fox came to eat the egg from the window so i i told that, that, that there should not be uh, any specific story right it's only 
you know uh, emotional touch you need to give so that you will be able to recall it right so uh, this this is this this technique is called manomonics you you create certain stories and uh, list can go long and you just need to relate something with that story so that you can have a, a better understanding and you can understand uh, you can you can recall it for a for a life span right so uh, you just try it out these things the, these these emotional relates will actually work for more longer it, it it creates certain hooks in your mind and then you'll be able to recall it in a better way right? these are, are are the techniques which which will actually help you in in a better way right so that's it thank you very much for watching thank you